Okay, I'm redoing question eight because I really dislike it and I just want a better understanding of it. So the first part is just to complete the table, so that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, the function is 72 minus 60 cos pi over 3 t um, from 0 to 8 step size 1. So Zero to eight step size one. So that goes twelve twelve forty two one hundred and two one hundred and thirty two one hundred and two forty two twelve forty two one hundred and two and then they want you to graph this. So roughly speaking that's twelve to forty two to one hundred and two to 132 to 102 um, to 42 to 12 back oh have I, have I gone off course I feel like I have twelve. 42, 102, 132, 102, 42, 12, 42, and back up to 102. So very roughly, it looks like this. That's a very ugly graph, but you get the idea. Find the period. So the Ferris wheel, you're told it turns 10 times in an hour. So that makes it six minute period. And the range you can see from it is going to be um, 70 minus 72 minus 60 which is 12 meters and then 70 plus 60 which is 132 and I think that's what I got last time when I did it yeah during a 50 minute duration what's the greatest number of minutes to which the point A could be higher than 42 yep I actually solved this originally, Oops. and I got between one and five minutes, and then I realized, oh, so maybe we didn't need you to solve it. Uh, maybe it was enough just to look at the graph, because that's what someone suggested, like, could they have just judged from the graph? 42 is clearly here to here, so that's one, two, three, four minutes. So for every period, you're four minutes above this height. So for every six minutes, that corresponds to four minutes above this height. Now, they want the greatest number of minutes. So I'm assuming that you start the clock here. You don't waste any time not being above this height. So in a 50 minute duration, that's 8.33 rotations. So in other words, in 48 minutes, um, that corresponds to 32 minutes being above that height. And then when you finish the eight rotations, you're going into the ninth one then, but you don't manage to go through the full amount. Um, there's only two minutes left, so you only get an extra two. So that's 34 minutes, which I think is what I got last time as well. Yeah, 34 minutes. Uh, the next part is a bit of a trig equation to solve this, but they want the second solution. So just rearranging this, 110 minus 72 divided by minus 60. So you get cos pi over 3t equals minus 19 over 30. So that means that you're in this quadrant and this quadrant. So there are your two solutions there. So cos inverse. So you get pi over 3t equals 2.26. Or 
So if that angle there is 2.26, it means this piece here is 0 0.88. So if you add on another 0 0.88, uh, you're done. So 0 0.88. 0 0.88 plus cos inverse minus 19 over 30. Um, is that right? No, no, 0. Point, ah, rats. Just lost my answer. I have to retype it, fine. Cos inverse minus 19 over 30. Okay, so the second answer is 4.03, etc., etc. Uh, so the time would be t equals to two decimal places, 3.85 minutes. Again, I think I got that last time. Yep. And then the next one is the integration. So that would be 1 over 8 minus 0, because it's from 0 to 8, and then integrate this 72 minus 60 cos pi over 3 t dt. So that would be 1 over 8. Um, no, not integrate square brackets. 72. I forgot to write the t last time, but I do have the right.